Um, it would be premature of me to speculate on what happened at this collision. The important thing is that 13 people died in this crash. The CHP says they owe it to the families of those killed to find out what exactly caused today's horrific crash in Imperial County. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carla Chiquetto. The crash happened just after 6 this morning on Highway 115 and Norrish near Holtville. Authorities say there were 25 people crammed inside of an SUV when it was hit by a big rig. 13 people died. Several others were seriously injured. At least six people were taken to hospitals in San Diego. Tonight, News 8's LaMonica Peters has the very latest on the investigation. The ages of the passengers range from 16 to the 50s. There were both men and women, but there were no young children involved in the crash. CHP says they have very little information about how this accident happened. Hours after 13 people died on Highway 115 in Holtville, investigators were still on the scene, combing through debris and collecting evidence from the crash site. There were 25 occupants in the Ford Exposition, including the driver, who's 22 years old. 12 of the occupants, including the driver, succumbed to their injuries. 12 more passengers were also injured and taken to nearby hospitals. Four of the crash victims were later moved from El Central Regional Medical Center to UC San Diego Health. Two others were taken to Scripps. CHP says 68-year-old Joe Beltran of El Centro was driving the big rig and is in the hospital. There are no other agencies or no uh, law enforcement personnel behind the vehicle, um, so we don't really know where they're coming from or, or why um, they went through the intersection from the big rig. Just confirming that you got a uh, message, uh, we need as many ambulances as you can hand right now, right now. The California Highway Patrol described a chaotic scene as police and first responders got to the scene of the accident. Some of the victims were, were ejected from the vehicle. There's some walking wounded that, that pulled themselves out of the vehicles. And then once the allied agencies and our, our CHP personnel arrived on scene, they were also pulling people from the vehicle as well. Although Highway 115 was closed to traffic most of the day, someone has already created a memorial using wooden crosses at the intersection where the accident happened. CHP also told us they're still trying to determine whether these were farm workers or immigrants. They also tell us they have a special accident investigation team on the scene trying to take a look at all of the evidence and figure out what happened here. LaMonica Peters, News 8.